hey guys how you doing hey to all my new subscribers i really really appreciate it and hey to all my ladies and gents that's been hanging with me from day one really really appreciate it and i want to say thank you to the few people that reached out to me via inbox letting me know that my sound was kind of off and i think i kind of fixed the problem if i haven't um please let me know down below because that's something that I really, really want to, you know, get fixed. I think it was because, and for you people that, for you ladies or gents that make videos, you may understand this. You know how when you set your camera up to make your video or whatever, you may set your video, your camera way over there. And then meanwhile, you're sitting over here. So my volume was up in my camera and it was up on my computer when I went into my editing but my I was just too far from my camera so it wasn't picking up my voice so I hope I fix the situation if I haven't let me know below so I can definitely fix that and the reason I'm making this video as you see in the title below it's my monthly tray I've been doing this for a while because I haven't hit pan in any of my makeup and this is for my makeup lovers or my ladies who like to wear makeup and things like that um, yeah, I have a little tray here. This is my tray. I got this tray from the Dollar Tree. And pretty much I put makeup in here and I switch it out on a monthly basis because I have not hit pan on any of my makeup. Now, I've seen videos here on YouTube like Project 10 Pan and things of that nature. But I need more than 10 items in my makeup pan, tray, whatever you want to call it. So... I gathered a few things and I, I put a picture on Instagram. It's a picture I put. And, you know, I got some feedback. So I figured I would do a video and I would let you guys know what I'm doing. So I take a few things, I put them in a pan, and this is what I'm using for the whole month of August. And I hope and pray that I don't want nothing different from what's in here because I have to stick to it because I want to shop, I want to buy some more makeup, but I refuse to buy any more makeup until I pretty much hit pan on something or use something up. And something, I only have one item that I did hit pan on, but everything else is, is still freshly new and I need to put a dent in it. So these are the items that I do have and I want to share them with you to give you a kind of idea if you're looking to do something similar to this to kind of rotate through your makeup if you have a lot like I'm not a makeup artist I don't want to be a makeup artist I just like to wear makeup to make to enhance my beauty and I like to see others wear makeup so it's just something that I like to do and the reason I'm gonna tell you the reason why I wear makeup I got into makeup because I went natural when I had my big chop I felt really really plain you know when you have long hair and you have hair you, you feel like something's missing so I got into makeup due to my big chop so that's that short story <laughs> but I want to show you um, BB cream foundation face product that I'm actually gonna have that I'm gonna use up I had this for a while and it is the Maybelline dream fresh bb cream and this is in deep and i want to use this up because it's something else that i definitely want to try i don't really wear foundation i do wear like an all over press powder that i wear and this is my sephora that's not like i was saying before my camera rudely interrupted me this is the powder that i use now this is exempt from my monthly tray what's exempt from my monthly tray is my face primer my mist and um, spray and my face powder so those will never change because that's exactly pretty much what I use on a, a daily basis and monthly yearly or whatever that does not change not unless something really comes out really good and I'll try it things like that I really don't get you know gear too far from I just keep it the same so like I mentioned to you the BB cream now I'm just gonna jump into eyeshadow bases now these are the only three that I have that I really really want to use up and I just pretty much got these two and these are the elf jumbo pencils and I have this one in little miss thing and this is like a nice um, champagne color and you put that you know on your eyelid as a base and then I have a dark brown one and it's called Turkish coffee If 
if you can see that. Okay. And then I have a color tattoo, and this one is Bad to the Bronze. And everyone knows what this is, and this is how mine looks. And I think mine is kind of getting old because it's just not acting right. So I'm going to see how it goes for the rest of this month, and if it doesn't do me good, then I'm going to toss it. And then if I toss it, then I feel good, then I can buy something. <laughs> and then for concealers, and I do use um, concealer under the eye and things like that. I really don't have too many, like they say, hyperpigmentation areas on my face. I just pretty much want to cover like my under eye and things like that um this is the photo ready revlon this one is in deep has for a very long time maybe about over a year and i have a lot left and i want to use it up so this will probably be see look at there this will probably be in my september tray as well and this is the queen collection and this one is in golden and this one is really really you know the doe foot so this is really really nice i like it and that'll probably be in my September as well. I want to use it up. So I've been wearing makeup pretty much every day. Some form of makeup. And I'm going to have an updated skincare routine because you know wearing all this makeup, you have to cleanse your face. And I do have a video. I'm going to link it here or here somewhere so you guys can check it out. This is pretty much what I've been using. But I did tweak it a little bit. So I have an updated video for you to check out. And for eyeshadows... I just bought this one. This was I bought this during the clearance sale, and I haven't even used it yet. So I said I figure I put it in here. And this is the Revlon Color Stay, and this one is in Brazen. Just some nice, um, warm colors. Oh, let me show you. Nice warm colors. I'm not gonna swatch anything because you guys guys can probably see that. And I'm gonna show you this as well. This is gonna be. This is what I use for my transition color. I don't use it on my face. And this is the True Match. And this is the um, face powder. And as you see, there's a little hole in the middle because I just put a brush. And I use for my transition color because I don't like how it looks on my face. So it looks good on my eyelid. And another one I have, this is a Revlon, a single shadow. It's just a nice peachy, pearly color. And this one is called brush copper so i'm gonna definitely try to get some use sides and i have two of these so i have a giveaway coming up soon so i have one i never even opened and i'm gonna give it away because i'll have this one forever in a day i mean another year or so so i'm thinking i'm gonna give it away i have a lot of things that i've got during clearance sales at cvs or sephora that i have two of them and i can just give them away this one is the sephora prisma chrome eyeshadow and moonbeam and this is this one. It's a nice gold color. So I got a lot of shimmer going on here. So I'm going to get my shimmer on in the month of August. <laughs> I don't really have that much matte. And I have these trios. And again, the reason why I have all of this in here because I really don't keep the same. I mean, it may look the same, but it's not the same makeup. Because I like pretty much the same colors. I keep it all neutral. I may have a little color here, tweak it there. But... It's nothing major. And then I have these Sephora trios. And I bought these, I want to say, either the beginning of the year or the end of last year. And I really only used this one as a lid color. And this one is golden pink. And again, it's just two shades, as you can see that. I hope you guys are seeing this. And this one is uh, purple, and it's called gorgeous pink. But it's just two colors. And I didn't even open this one yet. So I don't know if I'm going to even open it and use it. I may give this one away as well because it's not open. And this one is called Hot Brown. And I did open this one. And again, it's just some nice warm brown colors. A nice work appropriate eye. And you can jazz it up for the evening. And this is an Avon palette that I got, I want to say, probably three years ago. And it should be in the trash. But I like it. So I'm going to keep it. I'm looking over there, my kids. And this one broke on me. And again, if you see the other the other three that's in here, you could tell that I have not used it. That one just pretty much broke. Here's some really pretty colors. This nice matte brown. This can be a highlight, but I wouldn't use it as a highlight. I'll use it as a lid color. And this shimmery brown. And another something you put in your crease. Some nice colors. And why did I do that? And I have no wipes in here. So I'm wiping my pants. I just got in from work. 
And as you guys know, I went to Sephora recently and I posted these on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. That'll be right here. I went to Sephora and I bought three eyeshadows. And this one here I use pretty much every day. I have a nice day in it. And this one is called Cocoa Powder. And this is a nice chocolate brown that I use pretty much in my crease. I have a lot of crease colors. And I can't even tell you what it, you know, is a dupe of because I don't have any MAC shadow. I never owned any MAC shadow, so I couldn't even say, oh, it compares to MAC or it compares to NARS or whatever. I don't have any of that stuff. I love drugstore makeup. And Sephora, I love the drugs. I mean, <laughs> the drugs. I love the Sephora brand makeup. So if that helps you in any way, just so you know. And this is a reddish color. I love this. This is called Gesha Kiss. And look how red that is. I put this above my crease. Oh, my God so nice i want to do a look with all these two colors and this pretty color right here now this for some reason this one is called karen karen it's a nice shimmer let me look what i did y'all look at all that product i got on that finger but this is this is it let me take some more <laughs> so you can see that's how it looks. That's a pretty lit color. That's the reason why I bought it because I want to wear it. And it's work appropriate as long as you tone it down some. So that was that's what I want to do. And another another few eyeshadows that I have. This is an Almay palette that I've had probably when I first started purchasing makeup when they had these on clearance and CVS. And the only reason why I put this one in the kit in my little tray here is because of the black and the black is for me like you know if I want to smoke out my eyes something like that and then the green if I choose to wear a green look and then this is a highlight or I could use it as a um, in a corner color I would probably never use that up as well and then this is black radiance this is their bake shadows and this is called pink parfait and this is it's this marbleized swirl and it's pretty good for the lid that's how I like it and then I have one blush, which is a Milani uh, Mineralized Blush in Sunset Beach. Everyone loves this. I love it. I even was using this above my crease to blend out. So I multi-purpose use it. So this will be probably in my tray next month as well. Because I want to use it. Up. I, I have not gotten the Milani baked blushes because I feel like I don't wear blush that much. So it's like, why am I going to sit here and buy all these blushes knowing that I really don't wear it? This is the only thing out of all the... The makeup that I do have, and this is the Elf. This is broke. It's the Elf um, highlight bronzer, and it goes like this. And this is the only thing. And this one is in warm tan. This is the only thing out of my whole collection of makeup that is pan, and it's only because this was one of the first things that I wore just by itself. I would just put this on my face just to make it kind of like shimmer why i did that i don't know that's a beginner for you i'm still a beginner and i have two mascaras and i want to get rid of these because i hate this i hate it i hate it i hate it this is the rimmel day to night and i hate it and this is the custom eyes by revlon i like this because i like the plastic brush i'm not too fond of these huge brushes i have small eyes so if i put this on it's gonna hit my lid and i don't like that but it's it's good. You saw all that product that came out. I mean, seriously. But again, this is what I have. And I like this because there's a lot of product on it too. But I like the brush. And it makes my lashes flare up. My my own lashes. I don't I don't know how to put on lashes, so I'm learning. And if any of you going to, you know, do this monthly trade thing, you know, let me know. Leave a comment below. Do a video response or do a video. Let me know on Instagram that you're doing. Take a picture of it just so I'll know what's in your trade and what you're doing, you know. And go from there. And if you want to know, in addition to my makeup, like say like my hair care products, because I'm going to start, woohoo, I use it some of my stuff. Um, I'm going to start changing out my natural hair products. products and, you know, venturing out a little bit. I kind of keep my key products. But it's some things I do want to try. I don't want to turn into a, a product junkie because 
I'm a makeup junkie, so I can't be a makeup junkie and product junkie. I can't. I can't. Because it gets expensive. I'm, it, it does. So moving on with this. Um, I have a few eye liners and lip liners that I want to use up. And I use, use I, I can get through like eyebrow pencils really quick. So I'm not going to put that in here because I need those. But um, this lip liner I really want to get, I want to get through. And these are, one is a lip liner, one is an actual, um, one is an eyeliner and one is a lip liner. This particular one is called Dark Coffee and this is the one from Milani. And this one is called Blue Eyes and this one is from Milani as well. So just so you know, and this is like if I wear a neutral eye and see if I'm going to work. This is not really, really bright so I can definitely pull this one off. And it's blue. Okay, and you see that it's kind of a dark blue. You know, on my eye, it can be kind of brown. And I have it on today, but you really can't see it because it's kind of faded up because I had it on all day. And this is the lip liner, and this one is in dark coffee. And I usually wear this with, you know, some lipsticks, you know, if I do need a, a lip liner. And I have a purple one, and this one is called Purple Quartz. And it has shimmer in it. Oh, great, Kelly. But it's so hard, the tip came off. I guess this one will be getting used up soon. <laughs> so, if you see that purple right there. And I have this Milani Eye Tech. I'm just waiting for it to dry out because, let me see. Oh, look how dark that is. I put it on my skin and it comes out super dark. And that's it right there. And that's thick, but it can definitely go go thin if you can see that I just want to get rid of it I want to use it up because I, I like to use this and this is my elf liquid eyeliner I love this I repurchased this a hundred times this is my staple liquid eyeliner I, I try to get into gel and use with the brush but it's just not good enough for me and I have another blue pencil that I purchased from I thought it was in Dollar General or somewhere like that. I was buying a sharpener and I happened to see a blue, a blue eyeliner pencil. And this is LA Colors and this one is in Electric Blue. I'm going to do it right here. And this one is a little bit more brighter. And I figured since this is summertime, you know, I didn't want to go out and buy like any aquas. Not aqua, like you know, marine blues or any of the teals or the, the different greens. I didn't want to go out and purchase that because... I want to get rid of what I have because I want to definitely be a part of buying new stuff for the fall. The stuff is already out in some places and I can't even purchase it yet because I'm trying to get through this. I figure September 1st I can treat myself really, really nice. And this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes and this one is in nude. And y'all, I love how it looks. But sometimes I be forgetting to put this on. And it looks really, really nice on because it's not white stalk white to make your eyes look like that baby doll look you know but it's just right so you know you look awake but you don't look like awake if you know what I'm trying to say and then I have this and I've had this for a year now I'm sure this is still in the wrapper and this is the Milani HD Advanced Concealer and this is for this is when you click it's supposed to be the, the, the dupe for the YSL one that you click and you pump all that other nonsense I haven't even opened it yet so I figured I would use it you know for under the eye give me that bright look you know because I plan on going to New York in September and I want to have my face looking really really nice when I'm out on the town with my girls and just having a good time so that is my plan so I have to practice with this one so when I do go I'll know how to do it and as you notice, I have not mentioned lipsticks. Lipsticks are not in my tray because lipsticks and lip glosses are free game. I am not confining myself to any few lipsticks because, you know, you can definitely keep the same eye look. You know, you keep a nice neutral eye look or you can have a dark wing eyeliner and you can just change your lipstick up. And that's why I did not limit myself to it so if you choose to do this monthly tray um you know you don't you're not limited to your lipsticks you could keep as many lipsticks as you want like over here i have a ton of lipsticks and a ton of lip glosses so i just i'm free range with it free range 
So if you like this video, please thumbs up so I'll know. And if you, you know, if you're interested in seeing what my September tray is gonna look like, because I will change out my eyeshadows, but pretty much like the blush and things like that, it's probably because I because I can use those up. But those are neutral blushes, so those can definitely transition into the fall autumn. However, you know, you see it. But um, yeah, if you like, please comment, please thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram right here. Um, I do have a blog. Please follow my blog. Go on there, sign up, follow it. Um, I put some things there that I don't talk about on my channel. Like I do have um, how I do my DIY denim shorts. So that's up there. Um, things about my makeup collection that I do have. I do talk about my natural hair as well because natural hair comes first. But um a lot of things so just go up on my blog this is it go check it out and that's about it but if you do do this please let me know i'm going to do another one for september and if you guys like it i'll keep doing it because i'm going to be buying some new stuff and i'm thinking about doing just start like doing monthly favorite videos because it's things that i do like and I do use all the time and you know I do change out as you know I already mentioned my elf products but there's other things that I do like that I would love to show you guys but I just want to make sure that you guys want to see that I don't want to just put stuff because it's my channel and I know I can do whatever I want to do you guys you know decide to follow me so I definitely want to give you interesting things that you would like to see so that is about it I don't make the video too long I know it's already long but that's my tray for August and that's it. So I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.